everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key welcome to keys playing life so really quick we are going to close out our july's budget <sighs> let's start off by saying july has been a long month it and tried my life six different ways there is going to be some major changes in my household um and my dog is eating on my hair <laughs> okay so um i'm going to put it on the screen so you can see it give me one second tokyo stop eating my hair so my july's budget so far i've saved 338 dollars which wasn't a lot for me but um considering the circumstances i feel like that was really good um rollover money is zero we don't have any rollover money the debt payoff now i'm i'm okay with that i feel like it could have been better but i'm okay with that it was 1125 dollars so um all in all I, I think this month was just okay for us um like i said there were a lot of changes that went on this month one of them being my husband got laid off from work um and we knew it was coming because they just absolutely didn't have any work available um covid has done a major has had a major impact on like i was saying covid has had a major impact on families everywhere including mine um we expected it but we didn't expect it to come so soon and um like i said he got laid off from work so now it's just basically my income um that's keeping us afloat um he is going to file for his unemployment but he is also going to be looking for something else in the meantime um i budgeted and put myself on a strict budget for august enough to to the point where i'm still able to pay debt i'm still able to save a few coins and um bills will be met i'm very uh very adamant about bills being met so um yeah like i said it's, it's hard um it's going to be an adjustment for our family because we depend on his income um my income is a lot more than his so i'm the um i'm the predominant breadwinner of the house but his income was still dependent on um but i feel good and I feel blessed knowing that we can still make it off of my income. It's just going to be, and I don't really look, I don't really feel like um, as of right now that I had, I have to let things, certain things go um, because I had already gotten certain things as low as possible as I could. So that's why I said, I'm still gonna be able to save coins. I'm still gonna be able to pay off debt his layoff did not affect my position to continue to pay bills. Um, he still is responsible for his car note because it's his car. Um, but I will be holding down what I can hold down. And he will still be contributing through his unemployment. But as you guys know, with unemployment, you don't get what you would fully make as if you were working at your job. You only get half of that. Um, but something is better than nothing right now, especially during this pandemic um yeah this is just it was really unexpected um and at first i was worried and i was scared but i was like this is what you budgeted for this is what you've saved for this is what you've been paying off debt for and i feel comfortable um you know i feel comfortable knowing that everything will be okay um, and that I don't have to really give up anything even though he's been laid off now oh well the only thing I do have to really give up is my love for shopping but I had already started giving that up anyway so it's not gonna really bother me because that money that I was using to shop I was actually um putting in my savings and paying off debt with so I, you know it's not, it doesn't bother me as much and then we honestly don't need nothing like i was talking to someone today and they were like but what do y'all need thank god you don't need anything like we seriously don't need anything 
the children are set. I'm set. He's set. There's nothing that we're wanting for. So I thank God that we've been put in the position to, yeah, he got laid off from his job, but we we're all put in a position to be able to handle things. Um, and like I said, he is the type of person, he, like he said, whatever he has to do to take care of his family, that is what he's going to do. So he's weighing his options of what his next step is. And for my family, I know some people will probably already be like, get back to work, hurry up, find you a job, you need to do something. But for my family, I want him, wherever he lands, wherever he goes on his next journey of a job, I want him to like it. I want him to want to be there. I want him to enjoy it like he enjoyed his last job. Um, and with that being said, he's weighing his options on what he wants to do, what direction he wants to go in. And I thank God that we have that type of time because, huh, you know, it could, it this, this could have touched my family in a different way. And the fact that I feel like we're okay, we're not, we're not as, eff as affected as millions of families are, that is a blessing within itself. Because there are families that don't have that extra income that was depending on that one head of the household. Um, you know, there's, there's families that, you know, are not able to get a job right now due to this pandemic. So I think I'm grateful for that. So August will be, um, August will be a t test run. Actually, it will be a test run to see how well I budgeted, how well I crunched those numbers. Um, I will be getting into the August, um, budget, um, in another video, but I just wanted to come close this budget out. I think that is helpful in some sense to close your budget out every month. So yeah, I am going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can leave a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel. Um, and just come be a part of the family. We are learning here. We're still learning how to um, strategize our finances. We're still learning how to budget properly. We're still learning how to save properly. We're learning how to invest properly. We're still learning all of these things. And I would love for you guys to be a part of that. So until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.